this is a pretty odd request. Why do you want to do this anyway? You promised me you'd get her to meet me. That's all I want. You say she's just an illusion, but I don't buy it. Well, she is an illusion. In this realm. But a promise is a promise. I can't stop you from meeting with her. Hmm. Very well. You should know, though, that she is not a resident of this reality. She is an ancient being who enters men's dreams to perform evil. I take no responsibility for what happens if you pursue her. Hey, you know what? Enough with the threats. Quit the chit-chat. Just call her. She's already here. Take your time. My job here is done. <laughs> Catherine. Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. How have you been? I mean, it's it's good to see you again. Yeah. I've never been called out like this before. It was really surprising. So, what do you want? You know what I am, right? Uh... Yeah. Aren't you scared? Well, maybe a little. Hmm. Vincent, listen. I was only helping him out on a whim. You're the one who wanted me. And you're the one who rejected me. Remember? And now you ask me to meet you here. What's this about? Well... I wanted to talk. With me? Yeah, of course with you. <laughs> what is it? Look, don't worry about it. I don't care that you dumped me. You, well, no, that's not it. It's not? So... There's something I want... Something I have to tell you. Okay. I'm listening. So, out with it already. I've made up my mind. Your mind? Before, I was worried about my future. I thought my life was being decided for me. But meeting you, I feel like I've overcome that. <laughs> what are you saying? You met me and overcame what? I don't know how to say it. Society's all about patience and self-sacrifice, right? I mean, everyone practically kills themselves to stay safely within the herd. Mm -hmm. But I hate that life. Even if it means I'm going astray myself. That's why I was willing to go through all of that nightmare bullshit. But I made it out alive. I'm not in the herd anymore. Now that I've met you, I've lost all hesitation that I had. Huh? I'm totally free now. Together, we can both live our lives to the fullest without chaining each other down. Uh, I see. And so, I've decided I want to live with you. Uh, live with me? Wait, what are you saying? Living with me means... Oh, I can quit being human, if that's what it takes. <sighs> I've made up my mind. Don't you believe me? Vincent? I want you. Let's get married. Marry me? We can do it, right? I, I don't know. I've never heard of such a thing. You can't stop it, Vincent. <clears throat> Jeez, knock it off, will ya? Oh, good. I'm glad that you understand. Wait a minute! I haven't agreed to anything yet! All I want is for you to be with me. Y you can do whatever you want, okay? Whatever I want? You know I'm not human, right? That could present problems. Uh, such as? Uh, lots of them, actually. Besides, it's not like I can stay here with you. The thing is, Vince, the whole kid thing would have to be off the table. And I mean, everything I did to you, I might do to other guys. Oh. Yeah. Why don't we just take it one day at a time? One day at a time? And you're okay with that? I'm sure we'll manage somehow. Huh? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> what the fuck? I heard you, human. What an all damnation are you prattling on about, eh? One day at a time? What utter absurdity. A mere human dares ask to wed the daughter of the plenipotentiary of the netherworld? Not in my house! You're his daughter? Get out of here, Daddy! I'm having an important conversation, okay? So this guy's your father. You got a problem? <laughs> let's go home. You promised you'd play video games with me tonight. Okay, uh, let's just cut to the chase then. I need to know, okay? No more games now, Catherine. What do you think of me, honestly? <laughs> Well, I am... Um... Hey! Why the hell are you blushing? Are you embarrassed over a human? Oh, you shut up! <coughs> Jeez, how do I put this? Um, well, to put it in human terms, I guess... I... I like you. And I was spending time with you when I was supposed to be seducing other men. What on earth is going on here? People, but... Okay, that settles it then. Uh, Marry me, Catherine. Okay. Oh, no, it's not okay at all. <laughs> Never! You're not taking my baby! Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skills. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life full of excitement? Nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? And the finale, mm, with Vincent begging not his ex-girlfriend but the succubus to come back to him, not only that, but asking her to marry him. Talk about being wild. She was shocked, but it looked like she was pretty pleased by it. I gotta say, he said some interesting things while confessing his love. That in order to live a normal life, you need self-sacrifice and patience. And if he's gonna stick out, he might as well live freely. Vincent found an answer for himself during the nightmares. And maybe Catherine accepted it because it reached her heart as his true answer. Her reaction might depend on how well she can sense Vincent's feelings. <laughs> I think that their future might just depend on it. Now tell me, what did all you players out there think of this outcome? He said that he's willing to quit being human. Is that <laughs> okay? Are you players who led him this far a bit worried about him? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Let's take a peek into the future and see what happens next. <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. Hey, how long have you been awake? All this time. No kidding. <laughs> it's not like you let me get any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning, kiddo. Good morning. No! What? 
What in the fuck? Don't mind me just laying around. Of course I mind you! Why are you in my bed? Oh, just ignore him. It's no big mystery, Vincent. He's here to stalk us. <laughs> sure. A stalker, huh? <sighs> a stalker? That's a cruel way to put it. I mean, I am a god after all. <sighs> I'm working hard for the sake of the world. I hate this as much as you do. Yeah, I kinda <laughs> doubt that. Don't worry. Just think of him as decoration. Besides, it's better when someone's watching. No! I love you, Vincent. Yeah. I really love you. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs>
Maybe I'll skip out on work today. You're slacking and getting kind of lazy, aren't you? Oh, come on. It's not like there are any men out there hotter than you. Of course not. Don't be silly. Mm. I can't believe a human man could be this incredible. It's so surprising, don't you think? Although, he's definitely not human anymore. <gasps> I get so hot sitting near him, it makes me just melt away. You really are sinful, you know. What will you do with yourself? All these demons wrapped around your finger. <laughs> Everyone acknowledges your power now, my love. Right, Daddy? <laughs> oh, hey there, Dad. Didn't, uh, didn't see there. I don't even know what to make of it. A mere human with this much power, it's simply unheard of. I was shocked too, Nergal. Uh, yeah, I am a good fit for this world. Uh, right, honey? Damn it all! Uh, <laughs> oh, Daddy, stop being difficult. Just give up already. 